I did a video last week discussing the 2024 Ford F-150s refresh and their new tailgate. I have two Platinums here. One actually has that tailgate, but this one does not. So you guys can see it has the standard tailgate versus the updated one. You can kind of see right there. I borrowed these trucks from Larry H. Miller Super Ford here in Salt Lake City. I believe this one might be sold, but the Avalanche color one is available. So yes, let's go ahead and go over some of the pricing on these trucks. And then we're going to do a review actually on just this truck here because I've already done one on this one. We'll call this a 2024, okay? And the next one we'll call a 2024 and a half. Now here is the description. And then this is a short listing of the standard equipment. Now they're both gonna be a 702A equipment group. And then here are all the options. So 355 max tow with the locker, Blue Cruise for $2,100, FX4 package, max recline, and then Will Will line up for 180. Destination is 1995 with a total price of $86,145. So here's the description, standard equipment, and then option. So 702A equipment group has that 355 max tow with the locker, has the max recline, wheel wheel liner, and then bed liner, which is a tough bed for 595. Destination is 1995 with a total price of $83,855. So yes, if you are considering buying a truck, just know that somewhere through the year they did do a update so I consider this a 2024 and a half because like I said the tailgate which is this new one supposed to come standard and I'll show it to you guys in a second I just wanted to just make this point that they are saving you $310 on these platinum by not getting it and you guys can see too they do spell out platinum on the top which looks so much nicer so let's go ahead and get into the video and then as I always do I'll show you the payload at the end of this one I guess the saying is true, good things come to those who wait. Now on the Platinum, you guys know for 2024 they refreshed the truck, so the headlights, the grill, really the whole front end got a new style. And projector style was carryover, just a different design. And I like the overall styling of the grill too, very like subtle. White lettering for that Ford badge, you have a camera up front, parking sensors, and even down below you guys will see this trimming is painted in that gloss black. So if you get a white truck, this would all be painted black too. Active grill shutters, and you guys can see the hood too. And then off to the side, 20 inch wheels. These are very similar to the ones that come on the Lariat, but they are a different wheel design though. And I like how they give you this impression that you have fender flares, but you really don't. And these wheels are gonna be wrapped in a Hankook Dynapro AT2. And here's the tire size. 275, 60, 20. And then the capacity for the tires right here. 2,679 pounds, 51 PSI max for the tire. I'll show you what the manufacturer recommends. But fabric material for the wheel well, independent front suspension, double wishbone. And then four piston brakes. They have like that open design six lug wheels and then more of that badging on the side too it looks really good it has like a platinum look to it as well painted mirror caps more cameras to make up that 360 camera view you have these accent lights here blind spot monitoring painted door handles and because this truck has a blackout there's just no chrome one here the only thing you could probably fix is just those lug nuts you can just basically get the blackout for that too and it will complete the look of this truck now this truck does have the power deployable running boards by the way i didn't mention that if you have the key in your pocket they will actually come down before you even unlock the door which i like and you can see that they give you this painted trim piece on them too and there's also a button out back if you push it drops down the running boards for you and you can just pretty much reach into the bed of the truck. 36 gallon fuel tank. And the truck does have the EcoBoost, so regular gas. You have those active dampeners out back. And then check out your leafs. So you have three. One of them is going to be an overload. And this one does have a wheel wheel liner. Some of the 
trims don't have this, like a trimmer package I saw, and a few others. Some of your badging out back. Restyled tail lights, painted rear bumpers, parking sensors, class four hitch. This truck does not have LED license plate lights. I'm shocked by that at this price point. You guys see how it spills out platinum, as I said earlier, it looks really good. I know that they don't have the applique anymore, but that does really have a nice look to it. I think I like this better than the applique. We have those cameras, more of that white lettering there. And let's go ahead and check out the tailgate. I did a separate video comparing GM and Ram's new tailgates too. So this is power. You do lose the step here. And there is a step available. I'm not sure why these trucks don't just come standard with it. But you still have your workstation here. And then this truck does have the 2000 watts of power in the bed. A little bit of storage on this side, if you'd like to see it. They do stamp forward on the front, and there is a camera for bed view. Lights also, and if you push the button again, this is an assisted tailgate, and also you have this arrow on the side, which allows you to open the tailgate like so. Now I know in the last video, a lot of people were picking the Ford tailgate. I didn't mention this, it's something I didn't like about it, is you don't have access like right here and right here. So you just have the center part of it. So it's not a bad design, but it's not my favorite. But I do like the fact that you can still get into the bed if you have the step, if you're hooked up to your trailer. So if you need to grab something out, you can. And because the tailgate opens this way, you just have more reach inside the bed too this way. So I do like that and yeah. Of course, if you don't want people to see what's inside the bed too, you can open it halfway. So this is definitely a nice design. And I like it better than Rams because Ram just has like a 60-40 for the um, barn doors as I call it, for the tailgate. And it just has a line going down like half, or not even half, it's like on one side of the tailgate. It just looks kind of funky compared to this one. But here is that exhaust tip, it has like a black treatment to it. And then this is kind of in the shade on this side. Correct me if I'm wrong, there was a time when the EcoBoost was not port and direct injection. One thing I love about Ford is whenever they have issues, typically they address them pretty quickly. Not all the time, but typically, and they address it on this. Port and direct injection, that is a good thing. 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, they've been doing it the longest. Ram just added their three liter Hurricane engine. Toyota's been having some issues with their 3.4 liter twin turbo V6, and GM is still not participating in this wokeness. Just kidding. Or am I? Maybe I am just kidding. I don't know. Gotta be careful what you say these days. But 400 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque goes through a 10 speed transmission that was actually co developed with GM. And you can use regular gas. They do have a high output version of this engine too, and you have the power boost which is available for this truck, the high output is not. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. The one thing I love about this refresh is they added this blue accent to the Platinum. And it is kind of a copy off of what Toyota's been doing with their Platinum, but you know, hey, Ford is always gonna play the game to win. And this interior is 100% winning. I do like the fact that you have this little blue accent there and up top. I hope this interior makes its way into the Super Duties. But B&O sound system, you do have the 14 speaker and suede material here. All this is gonna be soft touch. And then here are your controls. You have three seat memories, which is class leading, power steering column, and then this truck does have the massagers top and bottom, and this truck does have the max recline seats. Let's check it out really quickly. As you put the seat down, the lower cushion is gonna start pushing up just like it is now. And so it makes somewhat of a bed. You're supposed to put the seat up in this storage flat, but this is a good enough presentation. This is your pillow here, so you can adjust it to give you more support. And yes, this is the only truck in the segment that does this. Here's a kick plate right here. And then stepping in, it's made easy with this 
grab handle and these power to pull bolt running boards. And then here's all the controls on the side. Steering wheel. And then on the center console, more of that blue accent says platinum. And then check this out too. You have the satin finish here and around the back of this. But most of this is gonna be that chrome. And then this trim piece is slightly updated too from the Lariat. You have the screens, you have a 12 inch here and here. Push button start. Heads up display is right there. And they give you a lot of nice information there. Now let's go ahead and go through this really quickly. I'm just gonna show you one thing. Well, actually I'll show you a few things, how about that? So you have your trip information here, trip one and two. And you guys will see you have your heads up display. You can control this, you can adjust it. You can change the content that you see. You have drive mode layout as well. And my favorite thing is the gauges. So they give you these measurements to show you some of this information here. If you would like to see the turbo boost, that is possible. You can put it up top there. You can just switch up the gauges a little bit. And then on this side, let's go ahead and just check out the 360 camera view. Ford doesn't have my favorite, but it works. And pretty clear screens for the most part. If you put it in reverse, also you can actually push here and you can zoom into your hitch. Heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, dual climate control, you have your charger down here with two USBs. You can drop this down and then this would allow this area to be a workstation like this. It goes all the way flat, but the keys are in there. And if you go through your settings and you swipe over, you have this guy. So you can actually change your lumbar support or if you wanna add on your massage function, you can do that too. At the very top, you guys see it's missing a crucial option, which no one's probably gonna use anyways, but the auxiliary switches, home link is up here, LED lights. You can slide that rear glass and this truck does have that twin panel moonroof. On the passenger side, here's your cover. And I didn't show you guys the dash, but you have some blue stitching. All this is soft touch. Most of it is, I should say. 12 volt power, and then you have your 120 volt. I didn't mention, you have drive modes. You have that locker and four automatic. And then here's the door on this side. And they still give you the grab handle too. And I like that they give you the black headliner too. Out back. 60, 40 bench. And this is collapsible storage too. More of that blue accent, perforated leather, front and back, seat back pockets. Outboard heated seats. I will say though, Ram and Toyota give you ventilated outback too. And you guys have your 120 volt plug and your two type C USBs, 12 volt plug, air vents. And this is a decent size. It's not the biggest cab, but it's probably one of the best. Lastly up here, Armrest with some cup holders. Here are the numbers on the door. Gross axle weight rating up front will be 3,600 pounds. The rear is 4,150 with a 7,100 pound gross fuel weight rating. 20 by eight and a half wide wheels and the axle code is L5 for that 355 locker. All in payload is 1487. You guys see the air pressure, 35 front and rear for the tires. Now, that payload is Definitely on the high end for this high trim truck. If you were looking at a Ram high trim or even a Toyota Tundra, those would probably have around 1,200 pounds to 1,300 pounds of payload. I think the Toyota Tundra would have a little bit less. So all in all, I think that Ford has done a great job with this truck and having an aluminum body just makes it that much easier to add on more payload. But I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your bell notification are on. See you guys soon.